Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part 5 of Tableau Intro series. If you have not watched the previous video of the series, I recommend you to go and watch the previous video as it is quite helpful for the interview. I will provide the link of the previous video of the series in the description box. So let's get started. So the first question is how to achieve RLS or role level security in Tableau. So role level security is the process of restricting data in Tableau worksheet to specific users. We can achieve RLS by using user filter. Okay, we will discuss what is user filter in the next question. So the next question is what is user filter in Tableau? So user filters are using information about the Tableau users to show only relevant data. We use it for data security reasons and to improve user experience. Let's take an example. Suppose we have five reasons in the workbook and uh, if we want to assign specific reason to specific users uh, assume uh, we have assigned reason 1 3 to the user 1 and reason 2 for 5 to the user 2 so when the user 1 uh, logins to the tableau server he'll be able to he or she will be able to log in the uh, data for reason 1 and 3 and when the user 2 logins he or she will be able to log in the data for reason 2 4 and 5 uh, so for this type of workout we use user filter don't worry I'll make a separate video on it how to use user filter to, to improve user experience okay let's move to the next question so the next question is what is dot tds file in tableau tds file stands for tableau data source file it doesn't contain the actual data but it contains the connection information calculated field sets groups and bins that we created on the data default properties like number format aggregation and sort order okay let's move to the next question so the next question is what is the difference between .twb and .twbx file so twb stands for tableau workbook and twbx stands for tableau package workbook twb contains uh, one or more worksheet plus zero or more uh, dashboard and story it saves all the sheets and their connection information but it doesn't store the data but uh, twbx file is a zip file that that contains the workbook along any supporting local file data sources and the background image it saves all the sheets and their connection information and any local source and also it stores the data okay let's move to the next question so the next question is explain date functions in tableau date functions are mainly used to work with the dates in data source there are various type of date function date add it is used to add a specific value in the date date diff it is used to find out the difference between the two dates date trunk whenever we use date date trunk uh, we perform truncate operation on the specific date and at the function returns a new date date name it is used to return the name of the date date part it is used to uh, find out the specific part of the date. I will make a separate video on it. How to use all date functions. Okay, let's move to the next question. So the next question is, what is analytic pane? Analytic pane includes various easy to use tools like summarize, constant line, average line, totals, models like trend line, cluster, forecast, etc. And Custom lines like reference line, reference band, distribution band, and box plot. Okay, let's move to the next question. So, the next question is What is hierarchy in Tableau? So, hierarchy is arrangement of similar type of data fields. Hierarchy is used to easily drill down and drill up the data. Drill down is represented by plus, and drill down is represented by minus. Let's take an example. I have created a one geographic location hierarchy in which we have similar type of data like country slash region, state, city, and postal code. Okay, that's all, guys. Thank you so much. If you like the video, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and please share it with your friends. And stay tuned for more interesting videos.